Hello chaps and welcome back. You're joining me and Lee today on a camp in Scotland. More of the Scottish coast, shall I say. Lovely weather today, nice and flat. Lee's got a matching can to match his t-shirt. What class this? <laughs> so yeah, a bit of a different one this one. Gonna be stopping in a nice ribbon. I'll show you more of that when we get down there. Yeah, weather's on our side for one. Temperatures aren't, aren't meant to be too bad, so out on the summer kit again. Yeah, just bumping the two guys in the car park there, the North Face Wonder and Brian. And yeah, we live so far away, it was about three hours for him, two hours for me. Ended up in the same place. So, more than likely, you'll see his uh, pop up. I'm guessing he's going to stay in the same place from what he said. So, that's the location where we're stopping the night Fast Castle. As you've just seen, the rock in the distance, I shall say the old castle ruin is our location. So we're going to plan on pitching the night. Hopefully, you can get me, Lee, Brian and Glenn on there. Looks relatively flattish, but it depends what kind of base is there. So let's get down there and check it out. So this is a little trick I do under the Lanjan owners, but for which I don't know of it yet. So what you do is, this will be your head end. I've chose this end as my head end because the door's here, it's easy for cooking and things like that. What you can do is get a trekking pole, lift it up slightly, so you can get the height. Stick it on the ground about there. As you can see there, you can get your tethering point and lift it up around there once. That'll do ya, and back down to the floor, as you can see there, lifting that area. There you go. As you can see from this angle, it gives us a little bit more room.
So I've got Lee and the Lange on here. He's after one of his cells, so now he's trying it out. Is it roomy enough? You can keep your yeah, mate. <laughs> that must be a yes. <laughs> no, it is, eh? It's lovely yeah. this, eh? I'm definitely just, I think I'm just going to get the one. Yeah. Because I was debating the one or the two, but I think I didn't realise how much room's actually in this. Yeah. Good for a track and pull tent. You can't complain of it, can you, yeah. really? Well ventilated. I've got it down at the minute, but uh, can lift it up a lot higher. Yeah, for 900 grams. It's really good. So that's me set up now. Got the usual travel pack to mosquito net, and I'm pleased about it because there's flies everywhere. Um, they yeah, down pants are brought with us because the temperatures are recorded to be down lower. Electrical sleep kit. Got me little middle ear jacket. Big Agnes. I don't think I want to change that out. To be honest with you, I love it. It's the R value. So warm and comfy. Couple of beers, drone food, usual titanium uh, cook kit with the BRS in there. And the bag of the Nature Height Rock. 60 litre. I do love this bag, mind. Absolutely this. Absolutely cracking pitch here, mind. The views I've got from my front door. Lee's came in the Van Gogh Banjo 200. It's a tent he had many years ago, one of his first tents. Uh, it's a pro as well. I love them, mate. I've had one myself. It's massive inside. You do forget about it. Obviously, it has changed tents. The headroom, yeah, massive inside. Yeah, career tent. We've all had them. If you haven't had one, buy one. Cheapest chips, but they are really strong. They're built well as well. Always remember your kit chaps, especially your sleep mat. Glenn didn't remember his. <laughs> He's nearly making excuses on why he left his sleep mat. <laughs> nice northern monk here. Don't mess with Yorkshire. New Bob and Custard, looking forward to that one. Views are nice, mine, aren't they? It's just canny as well. He was captured by Henry VIII's troops in 1547 but was back in Scots hands by the time Mary Queen of Scots stayed here in 1566. So we are in the company of royalty. And I don't believe he's filming me. <laughs> it was again briefly, <laughs> I will speak up. <laughs> it was again briefly in the English hands for the part of 1570. In 1580, Fast Castle passed by marriage to the Logans of Restoric, who are said to have employed the mathematician and reputed wizard John Napier to search the castle for hidden treasures. Nothing seems to have been found. The Logan's estate were seized by the Crown in 1609 for their part in the conspiracy against James VI. Fast Castle subsequently passed through a series of owners and fairly quickly fell into disrepair and ruin. Just been having a good big crack on there with Glenn and Brian. Coming on some great camps, coming on some good memories. Some of the stories about life as well. Time to get some food on the go anyway. Bought this with us for dessert. Nice bit of dark chocolate, sea salt. Steve from Outdoor Lifestyle says you've got to be 70 year old to eat this, so I must be 70. <laughs> this one's for you, Steve. Well, that's food out the way with. It's time to go up and see Glenn and Brian and check out their kit. No. So this is Glenn's tent and Glenn's kit. It'll take us two minutes to have a look around as he's getting his mat. Don't steal anything. Uh, probably someone else, but yeah, Lanshan too. You get a nice pitch as well. So what's your sleeping bag? You got your Berghouse sleeping bag? Yeah. Pillow wise? Uh, I've got two pillows because I'm, I'm soft southerner. Yeah, the mass of these inside. All these food and that down there. Got slippers in there, right? Hand slippers, yeah, posh. Yeah, nice pitch. We're just down here on the lower side. Got me there. Lay there. Brian's there. The light is fading fast. I don't know if you can see that in the distance here behind us. The lighthouse. That's St. Abs. Yeah, that's active. Flashing about. Got a few pastel colours coming through over there. Very nice. 
it's nice to see other people's pictures, other people's setups, speak to them about their opinions and what they use for the summer and the winter. Uh, they've both got Hilliburg Sulus, so that's interesting to speak to people like that. You know, the door's shut now on Harford anyway. Temperatures have dropped a kind of bit, but it's still warm. Yep, the darkness is in. Me and Leo and that are run on, get some pictures of the stars. Don't know if you make it out, but there's a few above us here. Yeah, you've got the fellas up there. They're getting into bed now. I'm out here for a while, I think I want to set an alarm for about 2 o'clock or something, see if I can get some pictures. The sky's all meant to clear. They're not too clear at the minute, but we'll see. Well, it's time to get my head down now. 2 a.m. alarm clock set. Hopefully we can get some pictures of the stars. At the minute, it's sort of going steady with the clouds. There's a bit of a gap behind us, but in front of us have stopped with a little open. But yeah, it'd be nice to get some anyway. The weather's calming down. I don't know what the temperature is. I'll give it a check. Yeah, it's got to be about 8 degrees anyway. It's not too cold. Uh, hopefully a warm night anyway. Hopefully. So we'll see what the temperature's like in the morning. Hopefully we'll get some footage. But for the minute, good night. Well, I'm back now, that's where I was. There's a crag here coming down. I'll try and put in the video that Lee took of us. Uh, high, it is as steep as well it looks, but I had to come down this edge, over and down, that's where the drone was there. Uh, luckily enough, I had signal at the bottom, but I've only damaged a couple of propellers, luckily enough, but I, more of a comedy show for these. They were having dibs and he was getting me kit. But I, nice wake up call of 5.50 in the air, man. But it's getting nice out there. A few boats out there. That one there was out there last night. What is that one, mate? Uh, fuel ship. Ah, some fuel ship anyway. But yeah, nice morning. I think I'll enjoy it now. in the morning but I did get a nice sunset high maps was cracking wasn't it nice bit of drone footage hope you enjoyed the crash uh, yeah interesting one but that's because I didn't have any eyes on the drone took them off last minute but hey you go you learn some didn't you better guys away there anyway Glenn and Brian away I think they're gonna head up further north to another castle and I think they might be staying there the night they didn't quite make it clear what they were doing or that but at least want to see it. Yeah, nice to meet them anyway. 
go check out their channel I'll put a link in the description some really good content uh, definitely subscribe to him he goes all over him and buy him uh, in some nice unusual places too well, if they're driving along we'll see a place so we'll just go and camp there which is what it's all about really it's not about chasing other people it's about doing what you want to do so I time to get a little bit of food in us now put some energy back in us and enjoy the rest of this sun if you do want to purchase one of these tents it is a Lanshan 1 Pro XL this XL. is a Nightcat one yep Lee that is right Lee's chilling there XL one, Lee's already bought yourself one in grey, but yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. But it's Lanshan one Pro XL, so yeah, I recommend them. Lee's purchased one last night. Don't know if he's telling his wife yet, but I, uh, yeah, I highly recommend them anyway. That's me, had my little bit of a morning chill. Lee's down there doing his meditation and his Wim Hof. That's his routine every morning. Time to get the kit packed away now. Leave no trace, as always. Just a patch of flat grass there. Bags all packed. Just taking in the views there. For one last time, Lee's on packing down now. Yeah, leave no trace is a massive thing. Uh, a lot of people I've seen lately on Instagram, uh, a lot of posts of people finding people's rubbish. If I do find it, I do take it home. When I did the sprinkling, tarling great M1 mainly, found a load and we just picked it up on the way down. Yeah, keep places like this nice and tidy. You know, look after them, and you'll not get a bad name for yourself, and they won't either. You know, wild campers are not even meant to be seen or heard. That's us away now. It's nice to meet some new faces. North Face Wonder and Brian. Good bit of crack on with them. Had a good laugh when I uh, lost my drone. But yeah, go check out his video. It might be up for mine, it might not be. Yeah, go and give him a subscribe. But a bit of a surprise for Lee this one. He didn't know where we were coming. Did you enjoy it? Loved it. Favourite one yet, I think. Uh, nice, a bit different. Uh, you've seen before, but yeah, a bit of the castle walls eh? and see the red bits here. Hanging out, a little bit of it left all over. If I can get a picture, I'll stick it on the screen now for you. I believe that's part of the castle wall too. Yeah, nice place. Bit dramatic for how it is. Lovely around here. But we've really enjoyed it. We will be back again up the Scottish coast. Maybe it's further up, lower down, I don't know.
But if you haven't already, give it a subscribe, give it a like, any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll quite happily get back to you and I'll see you on the next one.